seats. Go ahead and take your seats, everybody. Awesome. You, for those of you who have been coming, you know I love this time. I know it's just a few minutes, but every time we do it, it's such a reminder to me of how much we as people long for community and connection. And, and guys, I'm, I'm one of the introverts, okay? Some of you don't know that, but I'm, I'm, I'm more of an introvert. I love people, don't get me wrong. Sundays, I love spending time with you, and then, and then I get home and I'm tired. And so I, I get it, all right? But I, I love it, but I, even as an introvert, I understand the value of being with people of having relationships. So part of what we do uh, every Sunday is give those opportunities to engage in that type of relationship. Now, one of the things that we're starting, and you've heard us start talking about it, and we're trying to develop more of this culture of what we call lunch together. And after each service, what we're trying to do is create opportunities. Actually, I'm giving the opportunity for this whole church family to live out just being a community together. Now, we got all sorts of donuts and snacks and coffee and all that stuff here for you, but a lot of people, I know a lot of us go out, maybe eat together on Sunday, maybe with a family, maybe with some friends, a small group. It can be all sorts of different groups. But what I want to encourage you to do is to go ahead and ask somebody, or even if you don't want to ask somebody, when you leave, we have a, a, a chalkboard near the stairs, and it tells you a couple places that people are going to eat together. And I want to encourage you to take that step and say, hey, maybe I'll invite somebody to join me. Or maybe I'll just go and join one of the lunches that are there. And the whole idea is just as we eat together, we get to know each other. We really become more of a community, more of a real family in that sense. So if you're coming and it's your first time, I want you to know you're invited to that. It's not just a special group that gets to go. It's everybody. We're becoming more and more of a family. So we're doing that every Sunday. You'll be able to see that on the chalkboard back there as you go out, or you can ask about it at our Connection Center. Now, something that's going on in just two weeks also, we're going to be doing, you can always go out to eat, but we're going to be doing a special a Sunday luau. Um, and we're going to be doing a luau potluck right here after both the 9 a.m. and the 11 a.m. service. So I want to invite you to bring something. Now, it doesn't have to be a luau-themed dish. It could be anything, but we're going to have some fun. We're going to, uh, with uh, remembering Pastor Rick and what he, uh, how he started off with those Hawaiian shirts, we can bring those Hawaiian shirts for the luau. We're going to have a great time. That's going to be in two Sundays. And if you're able to bring something, we've done potlucks here before. I absolutely love it because there is so much delicious variety in all the things that you guys have brought. We're going to do it again. That's going to be in two weeks. So if you guys are up for that, on the connection card, you can just write down potluck. And we'll get you all the information. So if you have any questions about crock pots or anything like that, we'll have everything or we'll be able to help you with everything that you need. And I'd love for you to join us in two weeks for that special uh, for that special potluck. Uh, you can see that we have a lot of things that we've been doing for the summer, and we're going to just continue on celebrating together. Now, today, you can go ahead and pull out your message notes, and we've been going through, uh, this is actually the second part of Pastor Andy Wood, our new pastor, Pastor Andy Wood and Stacy, teaching the message with Pastor Rick and Kay on taking steps of faith, actually a faith walk with God. And no matter where you're at, we can join in with understanding sort of where God has us. So Pastor Rick is going to introduce some other things here, and even there may be a special shout out. So go ahead and let's join together with the rest of Saddleback as we study the Word of God together. Uh, Let's 